Hi guys, welcome to a Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. The Covid's gone, finally gone. Um, I did test positive Friday morning at about half past five, but uh, come lunchtime I did a, a second two tests just to make double sure and I'm negative. So we're back out proper. Uh, as you can see in the background there, we are out at a place called Tarn House, which is about halfway between Ambleside and Keswick. National Trust car park here, so for members like myself, parking's free. I'm out with my pal Paul, um, just a nice low level one today, just uh, the first one back fully after Covid. Um, so we're going to have a little wander around the tarn and see if we can uh, get pitched up for the night. We are parked just over the uh, way from that fence you can see there, where the, the two chaps are with the dog. Lovely autumn, autumnal colours showing now. Spin you round, and this is beautiful. First time I've ever been here at Tarn House, never been here before, so we're hoping to get a good picture. I'm in the hot tent, and Paul's in his hammock, so looking forward to a nice chilled night here at Tarn House. It is a lovely little path around the Tarn House, as you can see, we're right on the water now. We're just going to potter our way around the Tarn and hopefully find a nice little area. Something similar to that that's jutting out in the water. <laughs> Jordy Paul's looking forward to a night in his hammock, aren't you, mate? Yes, mate. Nice to be back out again. Yes, I. So, yeah, we're just going to follow this wee path here and see where it takes us. What a lovely little walk it is around Town House. You can just see behind me there, we've got a little bit of a rainbow as well. And we're just looking across the town. There's some good pitches, what looks like good pitches. So, really hoping to... Uh, to pull a cracker tonight. Look at that sun through the trees there. That's bonny as out that. That really is. Some pretty big trees down as well. I've obviously had the forestry commission in and what have you, some men in and sorting it all out. But yeah, it looks like there's some cracking little pitches over the far side there. And that, that rainbow, although a short one, is uh, getting stronger and stronger. But just by those conifers in the middle of the shot looks really good over there so yeah we're we're gonna crack on look at this it's absolutely stunning really is it's quite uh it's quite taking me aback really beautiful place we are exactly halfway around the town now um, and we're not too far away from the spot that we think we've got for the night so we'll have a little bit of a look around here because it's quite a beautiful angle and then we'll crack on the camp the path is like this all the way around a little seat here but look at this like i say it's really taking me aback just how pretty it really is and especially with the sun going down on a little bridge <laughs> paul's doing his happy dance because he's out in his hammock so yeah we'll crack on just a little bit further on from where we were before about halfway we have come across looks like a little summer house Quite pretty that. A bit dilapidated like, but got a little picnic bench looking out over the town. Yeah, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't take a lot of work to do that up to be fair. Make a lovely little summer cottage, summer house. Great views as well. Yeah, I wonder whose that is. Well, we've finally found our, our pitch for the night. Uh, Covid is definitely having the last laugh today, although it's a nice, reasonably flat walk all the way around the town. Um, wow, I'm sweating, man. <laughs> it's not even that warm. It's only about 9, 10 degrees. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes just to, just to dry off a little bit, and then it's definitely time to, uh, to get the tent up. But before we do that, we'll have a little look around where we're pitching for tonight. As you can see, we're more or less right on the water's edge. Sun going down looks absolutely beautiful behind the fells. And we're on a little outcrop. Paul's still doing his happy dance because he's putting his tarp up. <laughs> and I've got a lovely little flat spot just here, which is perfect for the hot tent. And literally just a few steps across the other side, you can see here. Beautiful 
autumnal colours. It really is. Absolutely stunning like. Right, time to go and get pitched up. Well guys, we've finally set up. It is dark, whether you'll yeah, there you go. You're picking up the moon there. So it is fully dark. Um one tigress iron wall tent with the pommelly lone wolf stove. That's all set up, ready to go. I haven't used my inner, I've just put my old tarp down. See you some of Light XT Extreme and me Leviathan EV900. Tactical Duck is guarding the beers. If you know, you know. And we've got steak, pie and mashed potatoes for tea tonight. Although I did have a cheeky Burger King on the way here. I have got my uh, carbon monoxide detector there. So yeah, we are all good to go. Yeah, it was a bit of a faff getting set up in the dark, but... Um, we're there, we're there, so I'm going to go and get my chair up, go and sit with Paul, and we're going to have a beer, and I'll bring you back soon. So we are just sat chilling under Paul's tarp, and Paul is ready for his food. So, he's got steak burgers, bacon, cheese. in a bun, with some cheese, and some tomatoes. And some mushrooms. And some mushrooms. Some spinach. Spinach. Some rocket. Get on. Oh, my tasty burger, man. Looks good, that, mate. Yeah, look at that. Delicious, mate. Nom, 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 nom. De delicious. So, yeah, Paul's Paul's rocking the hobgoblin. And I've had my first Northern Monk, which is uh, a collaboration with Rivington. Order of the North, DDH, IPA, 7%. Look at that burger. How's that, mate? Oh, mint. Is that better? Mm-hmm. I say I'm saving my food for when I'm in my tent tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light the stove and I'm gonna warm my pie up on the stove. So, for now I'm okay. I had a cheeky, uh, a cheeky Burger King on the way here, so um, I'm good. Marks out of ten, mate. Eleven. 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 <laughs> right, me and Paul are just gonna sit here chilling. We're right on the uh, on the town shore, as you saw before. So, a lovely place to chill out. Um, I'm gonna go and grab myself another beer. And like I say, just chill out with Paul, catch up, and relax how it's uh, how it's all supposed to be. And I shall bring you back for some food when I'm in my tent a bit later on. Well, that's me in my tent. The stove is lit and it is toasty warm. Honestly, I've forgotten how cosy these hot tents are. It's so warm. Uh, Paul's just sat in the doorway and he honestly can't believe how warm it is. Can you, mate? Oh, uh, yeah. Words just don't describe it. Like it's, <laughs> it's roasty. It's he's, head out. It's freezing cold. He's it's loving it. He's Absolutely. loving it. I mean, you can even see in my face. Look how rosy my cheeks are with how warm it is. So, um, yeah, I've had me, yeah, uh, I've had me pie on top of the stove just to get it warm through, and it's now un underneath. And I've got some water on top of it, um, boiling, ready to make the mash. So food is almost ready. As you can see there, the pie's underneath the stove, which is going nicely. Pie's keeping nice and warm. I've got the water on top, just boiling to make the mash. So food is almost ready. Really looking forward to this. You feeling nice and warm, Paul? Unbelievably toasty warm. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's loving the hot tent. He was a bit dubious to start with, but uh, he's definitely a convert now, aren't you, mate? Yep, it's like you stick your head in here. Toasty warm, stick your head outside, freezing cold. Toasty warm, freezing cold. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Cracking. So, yeah, I'm going to put the camera down for now and I'll bring you back when it's food time. So, there we go. Steak, pie, and mash cooked on the uh, log burning stove inside the hot tent. I am so much looking forward to this. Look at that. Perfection for camp food right there. Oh. Food time. Been looking forward to this. Idaho and mash. Honestly, if you haven't tried it for a pound, you can't beat it. Mm. Perfection. And local pie as well. Proper pie. Mm. 
doesn't get any better than this. Wow. Yeah. Some of the best camping food I've had this. Nice and easy too. Mm. Right, I'm going to away and enjoy this. And have a crack with Paul. Good old catch up. So I'll bring you back before bedtime. Well, that's just about bedtime, guys. Me and Paul have sat for a good while. We've had some beers. And Paul's left me a couple of fingers of whiskey as well, uh, just to warm us up before bedtime. Not that I need any warming, because inside this hot tent, it's beautiful and warm. I've forgotten how, how cosy it is in the hot tent. I really have. So, yeah, it's time to get my head down. So I'll most definitely see you guys in the morning. Morning everyone, another good night's sleep. I think I was up about half past two, very briefly. Back to sleep to about half four and then half six, wide awake. So it is now just about 20 past seven. Paul's uh, <laughs> snug as a bug in a rug, in his, his hammock still. Uh, obviously we just sat underneath Paul's tarp. We have a little bit of rain this morning, which is always nice just to sit under a tarp and listen to. Um, and it's almost breakfast time, so we'll have a little bit of a quick look around. And then we'll get the breakfast on. It's a lovely misty morning at Tarn House. We've had owls and birds tweeting away. But look at this. What a beautiful spot to wake up to. Absolutely stunning like. I was hoping to get the drone out this morning, so hoping this rain will pass and I can get the drone out. Yeah, all day breakfast in the jet boil. Ready for that. <coughs> right, breakfast time under the tarp, listening to rain, hitting it. Fantastic. Paul's trying to claim half your breakfast, but that's not happening. He can get his backside out of his hammock and cook his bacon, that's what he can do. Mmm. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. What a lovely morning isn't it can. Can't beat it. Right, I'm gonna wait and enjoy this, finish it off. And then it'll be time to start uh, tearing down unfortunately. Well that is us just about packed up. What a cracking little cheeky camp this is. Uh, obviously well aware we're probably a bit too low, but we've uh, we pitched late and we're leaving early. So we'll have a quick look around, um, show you where we were, and a last look around Tarn House before we head home. You can see there, that's where I had my tent last night. Nothing left behind there, apart from a dry patch where the stove was. And Paul has just got his tarp left up just so we can keep our kit dry while we're packing away. You can see Paul's rubbish bag there. Mine is there. So we have most definitely left no trace, as it should be. And a last little look around Tarn House. 
Like I say, what a cracking little place this is. Absolutely idyllic, so it is. And a cracking little spot to camp too. Right, definitely time to get ourselves away home. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. As always, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as Paul and I have. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad.